Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And for today, we are doing a spooky book review. I have finally finished two of them. And I finished The Sundown Motel and The Graveyard Apartment. These were both two library books, so I read them first so I could get them back as soon as possible. And let's just go ahead and get into it. <laughs> So first we'll start with the Sundown Motel. I read this one first and I read this in a weekend. I read it really, really fast. I thought it was really good. It wasn't as spooky as I wanted it to be. I didn't really find it that creepy at all. Um, however, it was really good. It was more of a murder mystery than anything else, which for some people that might be spooky. There was a little bit of like ghosts and things in here, but not a ton. I really enjoyed it. It was a really, really quick read for me. Um, so I definitely recommend because it literally only took me a weekend to read this thing. I thought it was really, really good. So I don't want to give anything away, um, but it'll keep you guessing, I think. And then next I have The Graveyard Apartment. This took me a little bit to read. I would consider this to be a bit of a slow burn, which could be a negative or positive th thing depending on how you like your horror. This was definitely all about ghosts, all about the haunting. It wasn't really, a, it was kind of a mystery, but not in the way the murder mystery, the Sundown Motel was. This book, for those of you who don't know, is actually originally written by a Japanese author and was translated. I think Japanese horror is really good. I think it's really different. Um, so if you know you like that kind of stuff and if you're cool with the slow burn then i would definitely recommend this this took me a while to read because it was so slow and there was a lot of detail about what the characters were thinking and the characters like in their brain would go off on these tangents about just like random stuff and sometimes that felt a little annoying and felt a little old and i was like okay let's 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 get on with it and so I did like this book. I do recommend this book, but you have to like slow burn books. It's not going to jump right into it. I would say not until the last few chapters was I wanting to continue flipping through and I couldn't put it down. For the most part, I could read a chapter right before I went to bed and be like, yeah, okay, I don't need to read like three more. Whereas with the Sundown Motel, I was reading constantly. I have, I think, three books left in my Cat on Halloween read. And again, I did read this one kind of slow, so I'm probably more behind than I thought I was gonna be because October starts in like a day or two. I think today is the 29th of September. So I don't know if I'm gonna get three books done in a month, but I'm really gonna try. My books that I have left are the Jack the Ripper book, The Shining, and what's that other one called? The Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. I'm hoping to get them all done by Halloween. That is my goal. They might not all be done by Halloween. If not, I'll still post a review of them. It'll just be after Halloween, which is totally cool. If you guys have any suggestions for horror novels, definitely leave them down below. Let me know. I will leave the information to find these books down below so you can go to the library and find them or you can go on Amazon and do the audible thing or however you choose to read your books. Pretty please like and subscribe. Share this video if you enjoyed it go for it. Let me know if you read these books or if you have read these books and that's all I have for you guys today. Bye. Thanks so much.